Hey guys, Tally here, and today I'll be talking about my favorite Blu-rays from the Criterion Collection. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. A common question that I get on my channel, and also in real life, is something like this. Well, geez, Tyler, why do you still collect like these Blu-ray or DVD sets in this day and age? When we have stuff like Netflix and Hulu and HBO Max and whatever. The main reason why I still collect these DVDs, these Blu-rays, is because they have much more value, much more collectability, much more long longevity or something like that. Like for example, you get like better picture quality on a Blu-ray or a DVD than a streaming service. You get a lot of audio options. You get like a ton of bonus features and cool packaging. And not to mention, at any given point, a streaming service like Netflix will probably take down a movie because they don't have the rights to it. And so that way, you actually get a physical copy of, you know, the movie that you want to see so badly. And so basically, I think there's like a lot of benefits when it comes down to physical media. But that's my personal opinion about it. So basically, the Criterion Collection was like the granddaddy of these special edition DVD sets. Like in the past, they were like found in the 1980s. And what happened was that they actually pride themselves of presenting the movies in the proper widescreen format, as well as the audio commentaries, as well as the various bonus features. Basically, they were like the pioneer of this kind of stuff. And so for this video, I'm gonna show you guys my favorite titles that I personally collected from the label, and hopes to show like the titles that I like, and you know, probably share some more, you know, titles that people have no idea about. By the way guys, these titles are not in particular order. These are like the titles, the five titles that I watch over and over and over again. So, the first one, of course, is like <laughs> Night of the Living Dead. Like, this film is fantastic. Like, I love this movie. And by the way, this is like the best version of this film that I ever came across, by the way. It has like a 4K transfer and like a ton of bonus features. Like, some of the bonus features include stuff like, of course, the 4K transfer, as well as various audio commentaries. You get like a ton of stuff like interviews of the director and the filmmakers behind the film. You also get like the rare like uh, work print cuts of this film. Like I definitely recommend you guys to get this edition of Knights of the Living Dead. Of course, at number two is of course a uh, police story. Now, Police Story is a fantastic, fun film. Of course, it's like one of the famous films from Jackie Chan, and this set has like the first two Jackie Chan movies. And I really enjoy these films a lot. It's like a lot of fun, a lot of bonus features too. So, great job on this set, Criterion. At uh, number three is the Zata Ishii set, which is amazing. Like it has like the first movies in the franchise, I think it was like 15 of them or something. Let me double check right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 12, or yeah, I think it's like somewhere along that line. But it has like almost all the movies of the franchise in this set. And I really enjoyed this whole entire franchise. Like it's basically like a, like a blind samurai just kicking ass and taking names. And I definitely recommend this set for those who have not seen these movies. Of course, you cannot, you know, mention like uh, the Criterion Collection without this film. Of course, I'm talking about the Lone Wolf and the Cub series. <laughs> and my god, this film kicks so much ass. Like this whole entire series is fantastic. Like this whole entire series is just so action packed and so ridiculous. It's like, I definitely recommend you guys to check out this uh, set. And of course, my favorite set from the Criterion Collection that I got more recently. And by the way, if I were to put a number to it, it's like the number one set I ever got from that studio. And of course, I reviewed it on my channel. I'm talking about this Godzilla set right here. It is like Godzilla size humongous, guys. Like, look at this. It's <laughs> so freaking humongous. But, um, 
If you guys want to hear my thoughts and opinion about that set for Godzilla, of course you can see my video I did before. But this set is like my favorite, absolute favorite set from them. They just went all out for that set. And of course for honorable mention, of course Pan's Labyrinth. Which is included with this like the tutorial set that I got like uh, a while back. But yeah, I recommend you guys to check out that label. They're fantastic. They do respiration for their work. They have audio commentaries, ton of bonus features. And yeah, I cannot highly praise like this company enough. You guys should support them. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And I'll talk to you guys next time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.